Enterprise and carriers have a number of significant challenges in terms of handling voice over Wi-Fi, not only from their overall network perspective, but certainly from the perspective of their choice of Wi-Fi equipment. Voice over Wi-Fi typically in, uses VoIP, which is comprised of many small packets, uh, which occur at very regular intervals. And when you have a high aggregation of clients, certainly this can put a lot of strain on the network. And so ensuring that you have a network and a wireless system that doesn't introduce latency, doesn't introduce jitter, certainly does not drop packets, is a critical factor in maintaining voice quality. This is particularly true when you look at the 2.4 gigahertz band, which predominantly is where the voice clients are today. This is known as a very crowded band currently with all the other Wi-Fi clients plus other interference such as cordless phones and microwave ovens. So having a system that's able to overcome those challenges uh, in the presence of this interference is, is very, very critical. Certainly, even within that, you also have the other types of data. So you can have data traffic, you can have voice traffic, you can have video traffic used over the same multi-purpose system. And so having a system and a network that is uh, really set up to be able to handle the proper QoS mechanisms and properly prioritize the different types of traffic and make sure that your voice traffic gets top priority uh, without uh, impairing the delivery of the other uh, types of data is a, is a critical problem that needs to be looked at. And then finally, you have things such as roaming between APs, which needs to be kept to, say, a sub-50 millisecond type of roam time so voice traffic is not impaired from a voice quality perspective. And of course, paying attention to handset power issues so that you have do not have user dissatisfaction from their batteries running down prematurely. These are all things that the prospective enterprise or carrier that is going to deploy voice services over Wi-Fi needs to look at. There's a number of trends that are driving the adoption of voice over Wi-Fi. Certainly the traditional conversion of the enterprise PBX from T TDM to VoIP and therefore to wireless uh, is continuing to uh, happen and in fact is accelerating. Uh, the other thing that's more recent is dual mode phones and particularly Wi-Fi enabled uh, PDAs. Uh, certainly the Palm Pre, the Blackberry iPhones all feature Wi-Fi interfaces and with the introduction of things like the Skype client onto those devices you'll see the acceleration of using uh, Wi-Fi as a medium for voice uh, not only in the enterprise small medium business but certainly residential. And then there's a third example, which is the uh, bypass of the local exchange carrier, where you see carriers such as T-Mobile in the U.S. who are looking to offer residential services, offering dual-mode devices, UMA-enabled Wi-Fi devices that people can use for voice and use those networks for data and bypass the traditional copper-based networks in the residence. So there's a number of different trends that are driving this from a variety of directions. But the net of it is, is that Wi-Fi is really ideal for improved coverage uh, particularly in building where you have perhaps coverage, with, uh, coverage issues with cellular and in, whether that be in residential or in office buildings. And so having a Wi-Fi system that can be multi-purpose to provide data, to provide voice, and perhaps to provide video um, is a very compelling advantage of Wi-Fi. Additionally, it's very low cost and it's lower complexity, particularly when, look, when you compare with such complex solutions as emerging femto cells, uh, which have a number of different problems uh, that are associated with those. And then finally, one other trend that we see is offloading data from 3G networks, uh, where the 3G networks have become overloaded because of some of the PDAs and the iPhones and things like that. So you see carriers doing increased build-outs of Wi-Fi-enabled hotspots, really to offload voice and data onto the Wi-Fi and relieve the congestion off their 3G networks. Ruckus has a number of different system attributes which really make it unique and yield significantly higher voice performance. We certainly support all the standard features that you would expect in an enterprise class voice solution for Wi-Fi, but we also have a number of other things such as a very advanced QoS mechanism uh, within our devices that allows for very flexible traffic classification if you have multiple traffic types on the system such as voice, video, and data. We also maintain separate queues for each client and for each traffic type so we can very precisely deliver the right payload to the right client at the right time with no head of line blocking. We also have quite sophisticated traffic shaping and rate limit mechanisms, including an airtime fairness mechanism, which will allow you to ensure that no client can basically eat up all the airtime and therefore cause uh, problems with your voice performance. 
Primary to our systems, of course, is our smart antenna system. Our smart antenna system has very advanced rate control algorithms, which at the bottom line, ensure the highest reliability, highest performance connection to any client, particularly to a voice-enabled client, which typically are not very high performance themselves in terms of their RF characteristics. So having a very high performance AP can in many ways compensate for the fact that the voice clients themselves um, have inadequacies. An example of that is our dual polarized antenna system, which is very unique and patented, uh, which allows you to compensate for the fact that clients such as this, as you move about, naturally are going to be held in different positions. And so having an AP that can actually compensate for the changes in the position of the client dynamically is a huge advantage. The net effect is really more reliable communications and better performance in terms of voice quality. We also have some very advanced security mechanisms, certainly the standard ones that you would want to expect. But if a user for a small, medium business, an enterprise, or even a carrier doesn't want to deploy a radius server, we also have our dynamic PSK mechanism, which allows significant improvements in terms of secure connections to each client with unique PSKs to each client without the complexity of deploying a radius uh, server. Net of it is, is Ruckus designs very high performance, you know, self-optimizing smart Wi-Fi systems that are very easy to use and yield excellent results in real-world performance situations.